So these two, one more time, my name is Mayo Wawolabi, and in this section, like I said earlier, we are going to be using, learning how to use the pivot mastery uh by two we have strategies i will encourage it to strategy one and perfect it down now if you, you can see we have plus three plus two plus one and you have arrow eight likewise you have minus three minus two minus one so now, as you go through this experience, there are certain levels that are important to you. Everybody on the call, type in levels. Yeah. There are certain levels that are important to you. And the levels are ARU8. ARU8 for a, for a cell. SO for a buy, RU8 for a sell, SO for a buy. Now, we have RU8 level, we have RU6 level, we have S2 levels, and we have SO levels. So whenever I want to go in on the trade, let's take, for example, GBP AUD today. You can, let's see, uh, let's see the one that gives us our rule. Aha, uh -huh. good. Now, whenever the trade goes up and reaches plus one, it is 75% ready for sale. And the win rate is 75%. When it moves to plus two, it means it's about 90% going to sell well. So what that means is that as the market goes to plus one, can everybody see that it got to plus one? Yes or no? Can you all see that it got to plus one? Yes or no? Now, as it got to plus one, you are to put a pending order for sale on Pending order on RU8 for sale. TP1 is RU6. TP2 is RU2. Now, Right now, those who use this pivot would have gone into this trade for a massive drop. What? It has already been triggered and is already in profit of about six pips and is going to 37 pips TP1 and is going to S2. which is TP2, 82 pips.
So your goal is let the market pass through arrow eight up to plus one above. Set sell stop on arrow set sell stop below below arrow eight. Let's check out other conditions. Now, look at this, everybody. He got to, he retraced back, got to arrow three, and you are at arrow eight. All you need to do, put in sell stop and watch your trade TP1, watch your trade to SL2. Did you get to S2? Everybody, yes or no? Did you get to S2? Everybody, yes or no? Good. So you want to be able to maximize that. Look at this. It got to minus three. You will put buy stop above so stop loss at s at minus two and tp1 you move your tp1 to s2 and tp2 to arrow six watch it got to arrow six and at arrow six it started dropping back It went through R8, got to R1, went back up to R8 and S2. He find his way to S2. And if you don't come out of S2, look at what happened. It went back up again to R8. And at arrow eight again, it dropped down. Now it has gotten to minus one. Everybody on the call. Now that it has gotten to minus one, what do you do to SO? What do you do to SO, everybody? At SO, you said buy stop. And if you said buy stop, it will go S2, it got to TP1, and it is slowing down again. TP1, the trade has closed. Oh, yeah, now. Show some love now before I change my mind. AUD USD. Look at 
It got to S, it got to minus two. At minus, at SO, you said sell stop. Your stop loss is below S2. TP1, look at, it got there, gave you 27 pips. Where's the next TP, everybody? What's your TP2? Aru, Aru 6. Did it get to Aru 6, everybody? <laughs> I'm not around, though. I got baby. NJ. From SO, you enter buy stop from SO. Buy stop at SO. It went up to RU6. Retrace back a bit. Now went to RU8. So you limit to uh, sell limit at RU8. You want to make sure the market goes above it to plus one or plus two. Then you will now wait for a sell stop that is coming down. I love it if you can be patient with it. This one has been in between. You just have to be patient with it. at minus one so you do long gear buy stop stop loss tp1 s2 27 pips tp2 ru6 can you see guys I got to RU6. Woo! Look at this one. It got to, it got to plus one. On his way back down, what do you do, everybody? On his way back down, what do you do? Yes, you can wait for, aha, uh -huh. sell stop, amazing, amazing. Oh, oh. That's how you rock. <laughs> yeah, a good question. Can someone wait for a close, a a close below the line before for market execution. Yes, you can. You can wait, but for this kind of matter now, it didn't wait for you. That means your stop loss will be wider. Your stop loss will be wider here. I've come sell still back up again. You just put sell stop below it, like two pips or three pips below it. 
a lot of time is rare before it will pass through and not close below. Now, this is your entry to of 47 pips profit and is on its way to ROC TP1. Look at this one now. This one got to plus one. You do sell plus, sorry, sell stop. At ARU8, it fell. It fell from ARU8 stop loss. It got to TP1, 26 pips. Let's see if it got to S2. Wow, wow, look at. It got to S2 and it retraced back or more. Look at this one now. Plus, it got to minus one. You do, you do buy stop. You do buy stop. Stop loss is below here. TP1. It got to S2. TP1, 35 pips. Then, it went up to ARU6 for TP2. Omobanke. This is called Omobanke. Aha. Uh -huh. We took this trade in the morning. Can you all remember this trade, everybody? And you all remember this trade? We took this trade in the morning. <laughs> this is a, this water. The lecture is entering my head like cold breeze. Oh, that's it. So it got to mine plus two. When it got to plus two, your only sell stop. Oh. Stealth stop is coming to arrow two, so it's coming to arrow six. So, from that place, we, this was where we entered in the morning and it got to TP1. He hasn't gotten there yet 106 steps. Then, the next one is S2. This is S2. So, once it does TP1, move your stop loss to break even. Now, can you see, this one did not get to minus one well. It didn't get to minus one well, well. So, but it still got to S2. Can you see? It still got to S2. Let's check one more. This one got to SO, but they don't get to minus one. Pass on and we ignore it. Pass on and I will ignore it. I won't take this trade. This place eh, is total, total rule. Total rule. You have to follow total rule, guys. Wow. Look at what happened last night. If you are a fiber trader, you would have done your buy stop here. Since it has gotten to minus one, you would have done buy stop here. Look at TP1, TP2.
TP2, S, S, R, U, L, uh, R, U, 6. So you have done TP1 and you clean your mouth. You got to almost TP2. You didn't get to R, U, 6. You can close your trade and abandon the rest. You can see NHF is still coming down. So guys, talk to me, questions. Yeah, the record, no settings, so no settings. No settings. Just work with your, just work with your RU8, SO, S2, RU6, that's all. There's no settings here. The session is recorded, so you are good. Coach, do we need to add moving average? No. I, we are not using moving average for anything here. Just work with your line. Just work with your line and work with your sell stops. Look at them. Um, 
Pollution. Last stop for you, chest. We go to SD. 69 pips. So if you just use this moving average, it will just add to it, but it's not doing anything. Okay. Just you watch the video. We watch the video. Look at. Of four hours, he hit this place. He hit the S arrow arrow eight. Sell stop. One hundred and fifteen pips on um, on um, four hours. Look at another entry, USDCHF. So USDJPY. Can you see it? Ah. Five volt add on is $20, $21. How do we get the settings? I guess this person just joined. I guess we just joined this call. As this comes into sell stop, you already know that this is your sell stop. This is your sell stop. So you are risking 37 pips. So this will be your TP one. So this should be a cell limit. So this will be a cell stop for you. The market eats it to TP1. 
RU6. Okay. If you have a demo account, you can enter this trade now. Bring out your phone and enter this on demo account. Today is Friday. Enter it on demo account to exit. And if you enter it online, God is watching you. You're on your own. It's not possible. Wow. Sell. Can even sell NZD USD too. You can see sell stop. So two trades that I say should enter on. You are expecting 50 pips here. Two trades. Enter UJ sell. Enter NZD USD sell. And I've told you not on your live account. Thank you so much.
Coach, please go ahead, sir. Go ahead, sir. Okay, Hello, Mr. Bayo, I, I was wondering. I couldn't. I couldn't hear anything. I was wondering. Oh, sorry, I'm sorry. I'm yeah, I'm sorting something, sir. I'll I'll call you after. Go ahead, coach. Great, great. Everyone on the call, if you can hear me on this call, can you type in one one one? Really excited, everyone on the call. Can you type in one one one? Super, super excited being on this call. Really, 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 really amazing call tonight on the pivot, guys. That uh, application is something else. That application is something else. I love uh, the fact that it's basically showing us all the structure points, the support point, the resistance points. You're able to go in, especially when you're using strategy one on the pending orders, and you can take your take profit, of course, on the sell side up to S2, and on the buy side up to R6. Whatever it is, you're able to take uh, what you want to take per time based on the various structure levels. I'm really excited. If you got value from that call tonight, can you type in 222? Two, two, two? If you got value from that call tonight, can you type in 222? Two, two, two? Everyone on the call, type in 222 two, two in the chat box. Everyone on the call, type in 222 two, two in the chat box. You got any form of value tonight, type in 222 two, two in the chat box. Really, really amazing. Really, really amazing uh, call tonight by Chairman 25 Loading. Mr. Mayo Awolabi. So guys, on tonight's call, I want to celebrate everyone on this call for the fact that you waited on the call, you stayed on the call, that shows uh, something really about you. You know, somebody once said, success is 97% mental. And of course, uh, you know, that for me is really, really very important. And 3% physical. Success is 97% mental and 3% physical. And you know, when you look at it critically, you see the import of it. And of course, uh, you know, when my mentor started to teach uh, the principle of success, Mr. David Imonite, and he said, what makes for success is about 90, about 90% 90 spiritual and one to 10% uh, physical. So what makes for success is about 90 to 99% spiritual and one to 10% physical. When he shared that talk with me, and of course, when he said, to us, you know, taught us that principle, it made a lot of sense. Now, guys, it's called the success balance scale. The success balance scale says that success is 90 to 99% spiritual and 1 to 10% physical. I'll tell you what that means. Now, the spiritual things are things you can't touch. You can't touch your mindset. You can't touch your psychology. You can't touch discipline. You can't touch all these things that are really made for success. Now, not entering a trade before the conditions are met, waiting for conditions to play out, that is discipline. That's why they say a very simple strategy, of course, a very simple strategy is even more profitable in the hands of a disciplined trader. A very simple strategy is even more profitable in the hands of a disciplined trader. Now, that thought is powerful. So things you can't touch, your, your mindset, your psychology, your thinking, your discipline, all those things that really, really make for success, they are spiritual things you can't touch. They are called the intangibles, the intangibles. Now, all those things that really make for success are, are things you can't touch. Now, we can say that they are mental. Hello, Mr. Bayawa. Uh, you can mute yourself. Mr. Bayawa, can you hear me? Can you hear me, Mr. Bayawa? So those things basically are uh, things we can't touch. They are the intangible. So guys, on tonight's uh, uh, tr leadership training call, I'll be helping you to really, really address some of the things, those things that make for success. Now, it's easy to learn a strategy, but most people know so much in terms of strategy, but they know very little in terms of psychology. They know so much in terms of what to do. Like you've learned a strategy one tonight or the pivot strategy. I use it. I'm really, really amazed at the strategy. Virtually all the trades I picked on it yesterday, virtually all those trades, it, it's amazing the, 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 you know, the, what happens when you obey uh, some of these conditions. But you know, a lot of things determine whether you'll be successful in trading or whether you'll be successful in business. Now, that is the spiritual side. On tonight's call, I'd like to share with you six steps to setting goals. We're approaching 2020. How do I set goals for 2020? How do I enter into 2020? gallantly how do i end the year and move into 2020 in grand style now i tell people 
2020 is a year of financial tsunami. I'm really excited about 2020. So you cannot arrive in a future you're not prepared for. You can never arrive in a future you're not prepared for. So guys, if you have your pen and paper, I'd like to share with you six steps to setting goals. How do I set my goals appropriately? How do I order my goals? My goals for my finance, my goals for my family, my goals for my trading, my goals to go to Sherman 10 in 2020, my goal to go to Sherman 25, my goal to go P5000, Platinum 5000. You on the call tonight, the I Am Mastery Academy has an IBO side. The IBO side allows you to build a business. You're able to build a business while you learn. It's amazing. So what we have, the structure we have on ground is a structure where you learn and earn. So apart from the fact that I'm able to earn from the trading, apart from the fact that I'm able to learn, uh, you know, also earn from the pivot, the harmony scanner, I learn on the I am, I am Mastery Academy. I learn on the go live, which I consider to be one of the most important tools we have in I am Mastery Academy. I'm able to connect to all the all the phenomenal traders. I choose a trader I'm resonating with and learn off their strategy. Eben Melendez, uh, Christopher Derrick, uh, Bas Kujiman, Stevenson Lyndon, I could go on and on, Dr. Kathy Catlan, Oran Wright, you know, all those phenomenal traders, Lizardo Tevers, all these traders, I could connect with them, learn of their strategy and own it. Whatever you learn, you earn. So apart from the educational side, apart from the fact that you're able, able to learn and earn, there's also a side where you become a partner of the company, of this amazing, amazing company. Currently, the company is in 120 nations, where you become an IBO. An IBO is an independent business owner. So let's say I want to set a goal to be an IBO, set a goal to go to Chairman 10, set a goal to uh, you know, grow in my IBO business I need, set a goal to go to Chairman 10, set a goal to become a P1000. There's a promotion we're running right now. It's called a 50 Platinum 1000 promotion. So I'm, I want to set a goal to run that as well. Now, as I set our goals for the year, how do I set the goals? I'll give you the six steps right now this goal, this strategy works for everything you do, your family, your business, your finances, and of course, to go, your goal to be to grow your IBO business. So on tonight's call, I'll be showing you that side of success. People don't pay attention. So number one, number one, you have to have a goal written down. You have to have a goal written down. Your goal must be written down. It's a write the vision, make it plain. So don't assume a goal, write it down. So you see, the book I read said, he said, the, the good book, I read, he said, said, write the vision, make it plain on the table that it may run, that read it. So, you know, if that could be an instruction, don't play down. There, there, are, there are reasons behind some of those principles. Write the vision, make it plain on the table that it may run, that read it. So it's important, number one, regardless of the goal, whatever you choose to achieve inside of 2020, Number one, you must write the goal down. Write the goal down. Very important. Write the goal down. It's amazing. Somebody is saying NZ USD cell is already in blue. Now, guys, it met the condition. It met the condition. Your penny all down R8. It met the condition. Once it meets your condition and you take the trade, guys, you know what is it? It's, it Forex is about conditions and not about assumptions. So remarkable, remarkable guys, just obeying the conditions, learning how to set your goals, get you ready for 2020 is very pivotal. Number one, you have to have your goals written down. You must have your goals written down. Very important, guys. Write the vision, make it plain on the table that it may run that read it. Number two, you have to have a date of completion. Now, you see, every goal without a date is not a goal. Every goal without a date is not a goal. You see, fate has a timetable. Every goal without a date is not a goal. Fate has a timetable. Very important.
So, so that's what we have, guys. Now, the, okay, the pivot strategy is $21.95. That's, that's a cost, don't worry. If you buy the platinum package, you all you want to do is to buy that as an add-on. It's pivot is $21.95. Amazing, amazing tool. I was on um, Euro AUD today. It called out the Euro AUD. I was on um, uh, AUD JPY. I could tell you trades. I was on GU, GBP USD. All the trades I picked on GBP USD closed out already. Pivot made the call as well. Of course, NZD US is a good setup, and I tell you, it's really amazing. Uh, somebody said, Coach, we stopped hearing you. Uh, if you can hear me on the call, everyone, can you type in 111? If you can hear me on this call, can you type in 111? Everybody on the call, if you can hear me on this call, type in 111. 111. Everyone on the call, type in 111. Really, really excited. Really, really excited being on this call. If you can hear me on this call, Type in one, one, one. Really, really excited. Amazing, 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 amazing. Really, really excited, guys. So I, I, I said, number one, you have to have a goal written down. You have to have a goal written down, number one. Number two, we said you have to have a date of completion. Number two, you have to have a date of completion. We said that every goal without a date is not a goal. Every goal without a date is not a goal. We said that already. Every goal without a date is not a goal. You have to have a date of completion. We said that very, very important. Every goal without a goal is not a goal. So quickly, uh, we also said number three. Number three, number three. We said list the obstacles and distractions that would stop you. List the obstacles and distractions that would stop you. So number one. We said you have to have your goals written out, written down. Number two, uh, your goal must have a date of completion. You must have a date of completion. Number two, number three, we said list the obstacles that will stop you. See, if you can take care of the obstacles, your goal is all, already done. What obstacles can stop me? What is it that can really stop me? I want to achieve a goal to be, uh, you know, a very proficient trader. I must have to pay attention to conditions. I must have to. Oh, you know, all the things you want to do, what can stop you? Now, all the money, make, money, money management principles, I must have my trading plan. I must adhere to my trading plan. I want to go chairman 10. I must show the plan. I must show the plan. I must, you know, I must get out from my comfort zone and show the plan. You know, all these things are things you want to do. I must show the plan four to six times a week. Now, what can stop me? Some people might say procrastination might be the stopper. Laziness might be the stopper. I must show up. Like you showed up on the call tonight. That shows somebody who's really resilient. See, how you do anything is how you do everything. So what can stop you? Those are, those. we call them obstacles. We call them stoppers. If I'm able to identify the stoppers, of course, I want to set a goal for myself. And what can stop me? I want to actually, I want to lose weight. That means I need to exercise. If I don't go out and exercise and watch what I eat, that exactly will not make my goal come to fusion. If I eat carelessly and I eat, uh, you know, you know, without paying attention to what goes into my mouth, for instance, that means I'm not ready. If I want to go P1000, I need 30 people in my business. So how do I do that? I refer people into the business. How do I do that? We're going to have a call on that this week. How to go P1000. It's easy. Easy, guys. It's easy to go P1000. Easy. As easy as E-A-X-Y. So it's easy. We have lots of people in the organization who are p 1000s there's a promotion running right now. Is the P Platinum 50 Platinum 1000 1, promotion launched by our mentor and coach, Mr. David Imonite? It's easy as easy. So, number one, your goal must be written, out, written down. Number two, your, it, you must have a date of completion. And number three, that you list the obstacles and distractions that can stop you. List the obstacles and distractions. That can stop you. That's very important. If I take the stoppers off the way, my goal is almost done. It's important. Most of the time, people don't really identify the stoppers. What are those things? It could be laziness, procrastination. It could be, it could be lots and lots of things. Little things, you take them off the way, then of course you are ready to begin to rock and roll in your goal. Number four, identify who you are going to be working with. Identify who you're going to be working with. See, it takes a team to achieve your dreams. It takes a company to achieve your calling. Identify who you'll be working with. So who am I going to be working with in 2020? Who am I going to be locking hands with? Who am I going to be associating myself with? 
See, your association is very key. See, you need to really, really, really take pay careful attention to those you have around you. Who am I going to be working with? Now, guys, we have, we have three set of individuals in the world today. In fact, there are four of them. Now, the first set of individuals, we call them dividers. Dividers divide your vision and goals. They will not allow you to achieve your goals and vision. They are dividers. They divide your attention. They divide your sense of focus. And the rule is, whatever you focus on expands. They divide your sense of focus. They are called dividers. Now, dividers are the most hazardous people to, to stay around. They are the most dangerous people to stay around. Now, when you notice a divide around you, I can almost guarantee you your goals will be aborted. Number two set of people are called subtractors. Now, they don't divide you, but they take from your goal. They take from your attention. They don't really divide you, but whichever way they're not helping you, they are called subtractors. They find a way to puncture the goals, your, your vision, your polarization, your focus in the size of achieving your goals. So number one, we have dividers. Not too good to stay around, guys. We have subtractors. This set of individuals have a way of taking from your goals, your visions, your aspirations, your, your drive, your commitment. Guys, don't stay around these two kind of individuals. Dividers and subtractors, very dangerous to stay around. The most dangerous are the dividers. And I tell you, there are two other categories of people you want to really hang around. Now, this set of individuals, you see, will applaud you. They will amplify you. They will help you get to where you want to get to. Now, the first set of people who are really good to stay around, remember we said number four, identify those you're going to be working with. Identify those you are going to be working with. So we have this set of two individuals. We call them others. Others. Others are those they add to your goals. They, they, you know, they, they are not going to run the goals for you, but they would really catalyze your goals. They, they really help you. They, they help you. You know, you leverage on such individuals. Now, you, you, you know, mentors, coaches, uh, you know, you know, these people are helpers of destiny. They are others. Look at those individuals in 2020. Be very deliberate. Don't stay around subtractors and dividers. Stay around others and multipliers. Now, this other side of success are not things you really learn in school. That we call them, you know, that, that, that spiritual side of success. You pay attention to this set of rules. You see yourself achieving your goals. So you have others, and the last category of people, they are the most, most, most exciting people to stay with because they help you achieve your goal. They are called multipliers. Multipliers. Multipliers really amplify your goals. They amplify your goals. They help you. Is it, you know, it's important you pay attention to these rules. Now we call them six steps to setting goals. Now we talked about identify those you're going to be working with. So you have others and multipliers around you. Those are the best set of people. So number five, number five, you must have a plan of action. You must have a plan of action. Nothing works until you walk it. Every object will stay in a place of rest or uniform motion in a straight line or less acted upon by force. Every object will stay in a place of rest or uniform motion in a straight line unless acted upon by force. Ladies and gentlemen, that's how life is. Nothing works until you walk it. Behind every move, there's a mover. Guys, you want to be very deliberate in 2020. Guys, you see, you can say all the stories, preach all the notes, talk about, say, give all the rhetorics. Now, if you don't put in the work, nothing works. You can, you can lay all the strategies, lay all the blueprint, if you don't put in the work, nothing works. Now, this is the physical side of what we're talking about. Now, you want to show the plan as a, as a to go P1000. Show the plan. Invite. It's, the rule is IPD. Invite. Present. Decide. Now, to go Chairman 10, by the grace of God, we have, we're producing not less than, you know, the number of Chairman 10s in our organization come 2020, we have been very deliberate. Very deliberate. 25 to 30 chairman tens and above in 2020. Very deliberate, guys. So the goal is to ensure that you know you want to you want to take action. You want to have an, a plan of action. So as a chairman ten, all you want to do most of the time is to prospect. You want to show the plan. You want to prospect. Now you want to you want to present. You want to promote. I call that the three P's: prospect, pre present, promote. Very intentional. So, but what this, what you do basically as a starter, what you do starting up is to ensure you, you follow the IPD principle. The IPD is where you invite the leaders who present and then your prospect will decide. 
It's called IPD. I've been around the industry of, of direct sales and network marketing for about 10 years. I understand the major paradigm. Growing in this business as, as a young uh, entrepreneur, I knew I didn't have everything it took to be able to show the plan intelligently or show the plan to the point where my prospect could make a decision. So starting out very early, I understood IPD. Now, all you want to do is to act as a traffic warden. You are not the one driving it. You are just invited. Now, it's called invitation, IPD, presentation and decision. Invitation, presentation and decision. So your goal is to make the invitation. That's the action plan. But what are you inviting from? You're inviting from a name list. Now, if you want to go Chairman 10, it's so easy. You want to go P1000, it's so easy. Have a name list of people you know, your contact list, those on your phone, 100 to 200 names, callable names. Have them written out. Now, when you do that, you want to invite them. Now, guys, this is an amazing opportunity. I, I, it has changed many, many lives. Now, would you like to show people something that will change their lives? Would you like to show people something that's going to transform their lives? Now, if you're not showing people this opportunity, for me, I consider it wickedness. I, I tell you, if you're not showing something, people something that's going to benefit their lives, change their status, change their finances, help them to get to a new trajectory, then I consider that bare wickedness. I can tell you that for real. You know, you're on this call today because somebody decided to show you the plan. Now, I'm grateful to God I found I am Master Academy. Guys, I made, I made good money today, I can tell you. Now, just obeying simple principles, just using the pivot and using the harmony scanner. It's crazy. Now, knowing exactly what to do, knowing when to buy, when to sell, is all we do here. Guys, you can imagine what this is about. So, guys, very importantly, it's called IPD. Now, all we do in building is we prospect, we present, and we promote. But starting out, you want to go P1000, you want to have a name list, 100 to 200 callable names, 100 to 200 callable names. Now, when you do that, you want to drive them into the meeting. How do you do that? You invite them. The Zoom calls. We do Zoom calls every other day, Mondays to Saturdays. Now, we have chairman leaders on the Zoom calls. What you want to do is to invite them to the Zoom calls. The chairman leaders will do the presentation. Your prospect will decide. It's called IPD. Now, I can't, I can't, I can't knock it enough because that principle got me to millions of Naira. I, I, of course, in my former business, I made about 100 million in commissions. All I was doing majorly, majorly, guys, was following the IPD principle. I'm not the presenter. I'm only the inviter. Now, I normally tell people the best inviter could be even more profitable than the best presenter who is not invited. I'll take that again. The best inviter could even be more profitable than the best presenter who is not invited. So you, you see, you want to really understand that this is where it is. In the industry of direct sales, now people is the lifeblood. People is the raw material that helps you to grow. My mentor and coach is a chairman 500, a millionaire leader. He made millions of dollars, a phenomenal leader, a chairman producer, and of course, a fantastic trader. Now, knowing exactly how this works is you're able to invite, the leaders will present, and then your prospect will decide. Now, very simple principle, but you want to lock into the island meetings we do Mondays and Wednesdays. You want to lock into the uh, Lagos meetings we have, of course, the mainland meeting or in Lagos Island, Lagos Island and mainland. Now, that's a Charlton Hotel and Towers on Saturdays and, of course, Tuesday at the office in Omoli Phase 1. Now, you want to just invite for physical meetings. Now, apart from that, wherever you are in the world, you're in Ghana, you're in Lesotho, you're in Kenya, you're in the UK, wherever you are in the world, all you are doing is to invite. The Zoom calls are there every single day, every single week. And, of course, we're running that all through 2020. All you are doing is invite the leaders to present and then your prospect will decide. So number six, number six is what is in it, what is in it for you? Now, every goal, you have to find a way to reward yourself. I want to set a goal to buy a Bentley, to buy a house in Omole, to buy a house in, on the island, to buy a house in Ikoi, to buy a house in Banana Island, to set my children to Harvard or Yale. That's a goal, to, to raise capital. Now, at the end of the day, reward yourself. When I achieve this goal, I'm going to reward myself with this. Now, when you do that, it's, it's something that people don't pay attention to, but really helps the subconscious. When you reward yourself, after I've achieved this goal, I'm going to do this. I'm going to reward myself with this. That is very important. It, it, it really helps you. It, it triggers something in you. 
a trick to really, really navigate towards the goal. I'm going to, I'm going to, this is the goal I have. I want to go seven figures in trading, six figures in trading. After I achieve this goal, I'm going to reward myself. People don't pay attention in rewarding themselves. Remember, you did the work. You put in the discipline. You put in the focus and the attention. Reward yourself. Now, after you're done, set another goal. Now, and reward yourself. So like I said, I'm going to take, I'm going to just going to uh, really backtrack and everything I've said right now. Number one, we said, have your goal written down. You must have your goal written down. Number two, we said, you have to have a date of completion. Number three, we said, at least the obstacles and distractions that will, that, can, that will stop you. Number four, we said, identify who you are going to be working with. Number five, we said, you have to have a plan of action. And we said, for you to go chairman, this, this talks about strategy. This talks about what you have to do. Plan of action, step-by-step -step blueprint. Now, you want to pay attention. You want to go seven figures. You must have a trading plan. You must follow your plan. All those things are things you want to do. You want to have sessions of trading, time for trading. You don't just set a goal to go seven figures in trading or six figures in trading. Fold your hand, it doesn't happen. Nothing works until you work it. And number six, we said, what is in it for you? How, what are you going to reward yourself with? What is in it for you? So, guys, that's the call today, guys. Really excited. Being on this call. Really, really phenomenal call tonight. Phenomenal, phenomenal call tonight. I hope you got in value from the six steps to achieving your goal. Now, people are preparing for 2020. Please, you have to be intentional. You can never arrive in a future you're not prepared for. You can never arrive in a future you're not prepared for. Be very intentional about 2020. I'm really excited because of the things I'm putting in place for 2020. Now, that is not the where it is, but preparation is the mother of all manifestation. If I don't prepare for 2020, I would never arrive in, the, in those goals I desire to achieve in 2020. Now, nothing works until you work it. So, guys, you want to set out your goals, have your goal written out, very important. You want to take out time to have a date of completion because faith has a timetable. A goal without a date is not, is, not, is not a goal. And number three, we said very clearly, you list the obstacles that can, that can stop you. Number four, we said very clearly, identify those you're going to be working with. Number five, you must have a plan of action. And number six, what are you going to reward yourself with? What is the need for you? So guys, I'm excited to be on the call tonight. Really excited, really pumped up, grateful to God. Remember, we're going to do a call. The promotion is on. The plat 50 Platinum 1000 uh, 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 promotion that's coming up. Really, really excited to, about that promotion. We have two individuals who have qualified for the $500 already. And of course, we're going, uh, it's going to be 50 individuals. Now we want as many people to set goals to go P1000. You're on the call tonight. You are not a P1000. Want it to be deliberate. And of course, we're going to celebrate all those individuals locally in Profit Arcade. And of course, they're going to be celebrated on a national basis in Nigeria. Now, this is 50 people. And of course, uh, everyone in Ghana, everyone in uh, outside Nigeria, in Kenya, anywhere in the world, as long as you're in Profit Arcade, you are also part of this uh, promotion. Now, we want to celebrate you as much, more than ever before. You want to take advantage of it. I'm really excited to be on the call. Now, but before I close out, I'd like to make you really understand what is in it for uh, this promotion. And now, uh, if you go P1000, all you, all you want to do is to have a residual income flowing in minimum $1,000 every month. That's the income you earn as a P1000. And of course, when you do that, you qualify for another $500 just giveaway because you, you end that rank anytime in December, January, or February. Guys, don't play with that promotion. It's one promotion I want everyone to lock into. Set that goal. You are not a P1000 already. Set the goal, go P1000. Have an additional residual income that you could also play with. Put the money in your trading account and also multiply it. Now, guys, I'm excited. Set that goal for 2020. Set that goal for December, January, or February. And I tell you, use the same rules you have stored tonight and you see your goals play out. I'm going to do a special trading call on how to go P1000 is so easy as easy. Now, if you'd like to go P1000, I want to set that as a goal. Can you type in two on the chat box? Everyone on the call, you'd like to go P1000, set that as a goal. Can you type in two in the chat box? Really excited. You'd like to go P1000 and set that as a goal in 2020. Type in two in the chat box. Guys, you can never arrive in the future you're not prepared for. Now, you have to go there in your mind before you get there. That's a $1,000 every month residual income. You could pull that in your, into your trading account and multiply it. Now, what happens is that your lot size changes. I can tell you that for real. And of course, you're able to leverage the market more. 
use, you know, of course, with your 3% percentage or 5% percentage per day, you're able to multiply and grow from there. I'm really excited to be on the call. Now, keep tuned, uh, just stay tuned for the trading call. I'm going to have that this coming week. How to go P1000, simple, easy strategy you can use to really navigate that. I'm excited to be on the call tonight, guys. I want to wish you a very, very uh, uh, great weekend as we move into the weekend. We're going to have another call on Sunday. It's going to be update call. But tomorrow, we're going to be having physical meetings on the island. And of course, that is at number 18 at the uh, Alakija, Victoria Island, first floor. It's, a, it's called the Construction House. I want to be there. It's by 10.30 a.m. We're going to have another one at Charlton on the mainland. And of course, by 10.30 a.m. as well. Invite your close friend. I told you the principle is IPD, invitation, presentation, decision. You are not the presenter. You're only the inviter. That's all I did, guys. I made about 100 million in my former business just inviting people. Now, the best inviter could even be more profitable than the best presenter who's not invited. So, guys, don't miss that out. Be deliberate. Invite your prospect now to this amazing opportunity. I'm grateful to God that my mentor and coach, Mr. David Imone, signed me up in this opportunity. My family and my, my generation will forever be grateful for finding Forex. So, guys, show somebody the way to freedom. And, of course, you remain blessed for that. It's called IPD, invitation, presentation, and then decision. Guys, have a good night, everyone. God bless you. I celebrate you all.